Now we will discuss first law of thermodynamics. This is basically the conservation of energy. For a gaseous system, when heat is supplied, or ejected by the system. It is also possible to apply first law of thermodynamics in so many cases when neither heat is supplied nor it is rejected by the system, but in general we specify heat and the applications of supply of heat or rejection of heat by a system. So, in this particular section we will restrict ourselves about first law of thermodynamics for a gaseous system. However, it can be applied for lot many other cases and mainly in first law of thermodynamics in analyzing first law of thermodynamics we consider three thermodynamic parameters. These are the very first one as heat supplied to a system. Obviously, if heat is rejected by the system that we consider as negative heat is supplied. Second one is an increase in internal energy. Of system. And the third one is work done by the system. These are the three factors which we consider. Say we are given with a gaseous system. In case of a gaseous system, let's for example, we supply an amount dq of heat to this gaseous system. And this much amount of energy is supplied to it, which will increase its temperature and the gaseous system may also expand. Suddenly, if it will expand, it will do work against atmosphere because atmosphere is trying to compress the system and if it is expanding, that means the pressure of system will be more than that of atmospheric pressure. So, after supplying heat dq, say du amount of internal energy is the increment of internal energy in the system and it does a work dw on surrounding. So, we can say by energy conservation, dq is the amount of heat supplied out of which du amount is extracted by the system to raise its own temperature and in expansion if it is doing some work dw on its surrounding, then we can state simply dq is equals to du plus dw. This is called differential form of first law of thermodynamics. And this analysis that the supplied heat is utilized by the gaseous system in two parts. One is the increase in its own internal energy and other it utilizes in doing work on the surrounding. This expression is called first law of thermodynamics. And as here we are analyzing first law for a differential amount of heat supply, this is called differential form of first law of thermodynamics. In sequence, we can also discuss the state form of first law of thermodynamics. State form we use for the complete process by which the state of a gas is changed. Say, if a gaseous system is given in a state one, where you can state it is having some specified thermodynamic coordinates, say it is having pressure P1, volume V1, and temperature T1. And say if it is heated and its state is changed to state two, where we can state its pressure, volume, and temperature is changed to P2, V2, and T2. Now, the process by which the pressure, volume, temperature of a gas is changed from an initial value to a final value is called a thermodynamic process. 
will discuss about thermodynamic process in detail in upcoming sections. But here, if we talk from the initial state to the final state, if say a total amount of heat Q is supplied, and in this process, the system is doing a work W to the surrounding, and the internal energy of uh, the system is increased by delta U. So we can state overall from state one to state two, that is from initial to final state, by first law of thermodynamics, or we can write Q is equals to W plus delta U. So water amount of total heat is supplied to the system is being utilized by the system in two parts. One is in doing work W on surrounding, which is supplied to the surrounding in form of mechanical work, and the remaining part is used to raise the temperature of the system. Indirectly, we can say it is used in increasing internal energy of the system, that is by delta U. This expression we call a state form of first law of thermodynamics. And if the same relation is written for differential amount of heat supply, that is differential form of first law of thermodynamics, which is just we have covered.